In this presentation, I'll give you an overview of SciGen SciCapture and how version 4.1 integrates with Office 365. So uh, just to give you a little background, um, SciGen Software was founded back in 1995. Very mature capture company, been around for quite a while. We focus on uh, innovation and automation for document scanning. Not only scanning, but also document capture so we can harvest documents from directories, folders, and then route them to any of the backend systems that we support. Uh, nice thing about our product, we've got it deployed in everything from small one-person law offices all the way up to large corporate entities like you see here and everything in between. Very flexible, deep feature set, uh, very scalable for, uh, for high, high volume environments as well. So before I get started, I, I always like to talk about uh, the difference between capture and scanning. A scanning application is very simple. Uh, typically, uh, from a SharePoint perspective, it'll let you scan to a library, uh, but there's not a lot of automation. You've still got to name the file. You've got to pick where you want to scan it. So it can be very cumbersome when it comes to high volume or if you're looking to automate a process and extract data and information. So capture software focuses on automation and efficiency. So it gives you the ability to automate a document capture process, extract data, and then intelligently route or place the document in Office 365. And that's what SciCapture provides. So if we take a peek at the uh, what I call the Office 365 capture equation, a lot of organizations are moving into the cloud. They want to host their information off-site. Uh, and from a scanning and document processing perspective, they've got a number of devices, everything from scanning copiers, desktop scanners, maybe they've got uh, open text write fax where they want to route faxes into the cloud, maybe they've got production scanners or JPEG photographs, or maybe just a huge directory of non-searchable PDFs they want to pick up, process, make searchable, and route into the cloud. So what Site Capture gives you, it lets you automate and standardize a process. So you can now dynamically route documents based on uh, document information or metadata to sites, libraries, and folders. You can dynamically build standardized folder structures and file naming schemes so that within the SharePoint interface uh, in the cloud, everything is organized and structured and done the same way regardless who, uh, of who is scanning documents. It lets us automatically set content type based on document characteristics and metadata. So what that means is I can look at the document, evaluate it, classify it, and auto-determine which type of document it is, uh, either based on some basic things or you've got the ability to really create some custom scripting in SiteCapture to do some really neat uh, logic-based evaluations of documents. So in a nutshell, pictures are good. Uh, we can pick up documents, we can look at information on the documents, determine what they are, what project they're for, either based on a barcode or extracted data or even a contract number, and then auto route to site, folder, library, or even place just the metadata into a list in Office 365. Okay, we've also got auto creation capabilities. So in the SciCapture product in configuration, you can set it up so that upon the initial migration to Office 365, we'll auto-generate libraries, folders, and lists. So we'll first check for their existence. If they don't exist, we can auto-create them as long as we have the rights and permissions within the Office 365 uh, environment. Okay, True integration through the Capture workflow with Office 365. So we give you the ability, we've actually written uh, an abstraction layer that gives us lookup capability into Office 365. So what you can do is during the Capture process, let's say you find a, a phone number on an invoice and you want to go ahead and, and ping Office 365 to a, a SharePoint list that has vendor information and bring back the vendor name, we can do that. And I'll actually show you that in the interactive demo, which I'm going to perform here in a few minutes. And we can do that lookup to libraries, lists, and choice lists within Office 365 uh, environment. 
Okay. One of the new features that we've also added, not only for Office 365, but also on-premise SharePoint, is uh, this notion of linking lists and libraries. So our uh, outstanding developers wrote this technology that lets us auto-create a linked table or list, um, uh, a relationship between a list and a single document. Now you may say, when would I want to do that? Any type of document that may have multiple sets of data that are linked to an individual document. Uh, the example that comes to mind first is an invoice, an invoice that might have multiple line items. We have the ability to not only write the information into a SharePoint list, but also as we're writing that list, creating a link to a document library to that image of the invoice. Another example might be uh, a check that pays multiple invoices where you would have multiple invoice numbers in a list that link back to that original document. So we've created this link between lists and libraries which is a, a first out there uh, within the industry. What I really want to get across to you is I've shown you the SharePoint pieces. Know that we bring to the table every type of feature set that an advanced capture or scanning application uh, might need to have within your environment. Everything from uh, being able to read hand printing, forms processing, reading barcodes, redaction, the ability to bait stamp or number documents, create searchable PDFs, the ability to integrate, integrate with fax repositories. All of those capture features within the site capture on ramp can be applied to document processing with the end result being uh, an automatically built repository within Office 365. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to a demonstration and I'll go ahead and, uh, and kill my, uh, my PowerPoint there. This is the site capture interface. Now realize that site capture can be run interactively as well as um, automatically to pick up documents from hot folders but that's actually a boring demo so I'm going to show you uh, an interactive process where we're going to pick up invoices, extract information automatically, run database lookups to Office 365 and then route all those invoices into appropriate folders for vendors within the, uh, the cloud repository. So let's go ahead and pick our document type and uh, I've got a directory in this case I, I don't have it hooked to my scanner but I could scan from a dedicated scanner but let's pretend that I went to my copier scanned all my invoices came back to my desktop I'm going to kick off my capture process I'm going to go ahead and import uh, my invoices and you can see here that I've got five separate invoices and as I move through the capture workflow Site Capture is going to uh, convert these documents to searchable text, automatically extract all the header invoice information. So invoice number, invoice date, the amount that's due. We're actually going to read the fax number and other pertinent information off of the invoice and run a lookup to Office 365, a list that has all our vendor information. So I'm going to say, hey, I found this, uh, this information on this invoice. I want to confirm that this is labor ready. We're going to bring the information back through a lookup and pop it into our quality assurance interface. Now within quality assurance, we've got a nice pretty spreadsheet interface that shows us all the information that we auto collected. Okay, So invoice number, invoice date, and total were parsed from the text of the invoice. Vendor was actually returned information from Office 365 list that was hosted with all our vendor criteria. Okay, Now if I needed to change something, I could come in and actually click on the lookup and Site Capture will run a, a, a real-time lookup um, to Office 365 and bring back a list of vendors from uh, the vendor list within that environment. Okay. Now once I'm done QAing my data, and you can see I can go from row to row, check my data, check my invoice information. If I had to, I could come in and actually split documents. I can crop, insert, replace, so I have full uh, document assembly and page level editing capability here within the interface as well uh, in tree view, as well as data review within the data view window. When I'm all set and done, I click done. 
It's going to create searchable PDFs and then migrate uh, based on uh, key criteria to Office 365. Now if I open up the Office 365 interface, what you're going to see is that I have a list here with fax numbers as well as vendor names. Okay, and this was actually auto created through Site Capture as well. I extracted the data and migrated it um, into Office 365. But if I go to the invoices library, what you're going to notice here is that uh, I've got built folders for each of the vendors that I just scanned. Now, the way Site Capture functions, I mentioned that it's dynamic at the site, library, and folder level. So I can dynamically route documents to those three entities within Office 365 uh, for folders and libraries I can actually auto create them as well so you can see that I auto built a folder for Granger and then what I did I took the invoice date and using our uh, our folder creation and masking capability I've created a year folder I've created a month folder and then within that folder you can see that I've got my scanned invoice which I custom named vendor dash invoice number and I've populated all my columns okay all of that was done automatically based on the data that was collected and or entered inside capture so a nice standardized interface automatically built right here in office 365 now note that we can do what we call multi-stream migrations so we can migrate data and or the image to libraries or we can just migrate the data to a list so if you have a, a, a list that you want to build with business intelligence data or information that's been extracted from documents you can not only send the documents to an archive so you can search and retrieve them or kick off workflows but you also have the ability just to send the data not only to Office 365 list but uh, to SQL, any type of, uh, of back-end uh, database, uh, as well as some generic formats like CSV, XML, and things like that. Okay, So that's a quick overview of SciCapture's Office 365 release and how the, the whole feature works and how we integrate with the product. If you have any further questions, you can check out our website at www.scigen.com. You can contact sales via email, sales at scigen.com, or give us a call at 949-916-7700, extension 230. Thanks.